today's video, we're going to take another look at CRM. Now, I believe the last pullback decision that I had gave you a little bit of a bounce, but then a failure. But now we have to look at what the next decision is, because here's where we looked at this last time, where we had symmetry with a prior swing that kept this market. But now we want to look at the pullback to this last low to see if we can find a new entry point on the buy side. Now, the reason why we're looking at that is because on the weekly chart, we did have key support. And if this low is any good, you already had a nice rally off of it, then we should hold on a pullback to it. Okay, so that's why I'm looking at this. Now, there's nothing on the chart as far as the support right now, but let's go ahead and set it up. So one of the things that I'm gonna do is run the retracements of the prior swings. Okay, and then we're going to run an extension of a prior low to high swing. Okay, that low to that high. It kind of overlaps the 618 retracement. And let's see, we can also run a 100% projection of this first swing down, so high to low from this high that overlaps that area at 146.20. You can also take the swings inside of these swings, so I'm also going to compare this high to low with this high to low see what comes up there this high to this low projected from this high okay so basically you have a price cluster that includes four key price relationships between 142.25 to 146.20 and the way that you work with it is if we test and hold this area you go down to the lower time frame chart and you look for a buy trigger if you get the buy trigger you can take the trade but then you have to define your risk either underneath the low that is made prior to your buy signal or underneath the low end of the support decision, which is underneath this 145.25 area. Okay, so that's something that I'll be stalking. I don't see, um, we didn't test the area yet, so I'm not looking for a trigger yet, but that's what I will be looking for if we pull down into this zone. Now, if you don't see a trigger, don't take a trade.